Hey everyone. So, as a lot of you guys know, there are a lot of aftermarket uh, firmwares for Android called custom ROMs. And uh, one of them is very interesting because it takes everything that you thought about Android and totally redesigns it in a completely new user interface. And it is called MyUI. Uh, here on the Skyrocket, I have installed MyUI, and right off the bat when you turn the phone on, there are many different things about this ROM, M many things that are different when you f uh, unlock it, for example. One of those things is the lock screen. Now, I've installed a theme on it, and like many other ROMs, uh, MyUI has special themes you can download, and basically... What this is, is it has a shortcut to unlock the phone, to go into the calls, or to go into the messages all instantly. So if I drag down the one in the middle, I simply unlock the phone. Um, now, this theme has a lot of different sounds, like the unlock sound, and the MyUI ROM in general reminds me a lot of iOS and how that works. Uh, for instance, you get all your typical apps, you get something called myui.us toolbox and .us is just the US version because this, this ROM is based in China so this is the uh, obviously the uh, US version. Now when you click on this you see we get uh, some mods like the center clock and hide AM PM, a lot of you know cyanogen type stuff custom carrier logo, you can go into the colors and you can change the color of everything from the clock color, the signal bar, Wi-Fi, anything. And as you can see, I have a green signal. I don't know if you can really see that, but that is the green signal uh, bar color that I have there. And the launcher settings, just like San and Jamon, uh, CPU, ADB Wi-Fi, and extras and experimental. And then there's, of course, the change log. So this is just basically the Cyan like mod menu uh, for just various things. And uh, that's different from a lot of other ROMs too. And something that you get in this that you don't get in a lot of them are standard um, standard apps that come with the, uh, with the ROM, like File Explorer on CM10 or like ROMs. You don't get a lot, you don't get a standard File Explorer, you have to download one from the uh, Play Store. You also get a bunch of security things like virus scanning, network assistant, uh, password, backup, firewall, permissions, and manage apps. All of which you need to download from a third party source on a uh, AOSP based um, ROM. And uh, there's my YUS uh, link, Play Store link. There's a statistics app. Um, and if you'll notice, there is no uh, there is no launcher for the apps, and also this is like the iPhone where you can just search it instantly right here, and this takes you into your Google Now and like and the like, um, where you can search stuff. So that's that's that. But if you'll notice, all my icons are on the front screen. There's no app launcher. There's no there's no other way to get to all your apps. They're just right here. Um, so that is a huge thing that is different from any other Android uh, ROM. And so the next thing I want to show you guys is the uh, themes manager. So I have a theme manager here, and this is different than, uh, well, similar to um, CM10 and the likes, but basically I have a fresh theme installed right now. There's a, I got a Motor Blur one, a Windows 7 one, an Omi one. Um, these are just all... They all contain different lock um, on lock patterns and and such, and uh, it all works in a little different way than CM10 does. And also, you you get a compass, which is just like the iPhone. Um, I mean, you definitely don't get that on CM10. You get a clock app, which now in 4.2 has that standard, but it didn't in 4.1.2, which is what this ROM is based off of. Calculator. Uh, sound recorder, torch, which is like the flashlight, downloads and user feedback. So most of those you get 
the clock you don't unless you're running 4.2, um, it comes standard. So that's that. Um, one thing that's interesting about my UI that uh, a lot of other ROMs um, don't have, and this is not necessarily a good thing, the RAM, I'm, I have no running apps in the background, all, only a couple, these four, and even if I clear all of them, I still only have around, and, and if I clear the entire memory by pressing that button, I still only have, as you can see right there, 447 megs available, which is half of what I get usable. Um, and that's something that's kind of disappointing to me because the AOSP based ROMs don't use a lot of stuff in the background, but this one does because of how user and uh, user interface intensive it is. Um, an interesting thing, all the widgets are a lot different. The, the, the calendar looks similar. Um, yeah, the calendar looks similar, uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, the weather is just Google Weather, Google Talk, Google, uh, Google Search, Voice Search, News and Weather. It's it's all what you've been used to. There's also a built-in Notes app, which which Android doesn't have, um, and makes you allows you to make new notes and whatnot. Um, also, the camera is interesting because it is not changed at all, so it's the exact same thing. Um, that's the, I think that's one of the only apps that is not changed at all um, in terms of the user interface. The phone doesn't this looks a little bit different. The browser, onto that. The browser is kind of like uh, I don't know if you ever used Opera Mobile, but that's kind of what the front page looks like with that. Um, and yeah, that's the browser. It's pretty much the uh, stock one that you're used to. That's not much different. Uh, the messaging is a little bit different, but I won't go into that. Um, the music application is very cool because it is completely different. So I have a, a Damian Marley song. Um, it's just what I have on here. Uh, and if you go, you can go to all songs, and this is pretty cool. Um, just a little bit different, and it also has. Uh, settings you can change all of this there's also there's options for lyrics there's options for online music services um, shake to skip listen and download so the music application is definitely much better than the stock Android one gives you which is just Google Play Music Google Play Music has some features but not nearly as much as this um, and, and as you can see I, I just opened like one or two apps um, if I close these and I, I mean, even if I clear them all, I still don't have that much usable. Um, and I find myself clicking that button a lot, which is one thing that's kind of disappointing. Um, but besides that, this ROM is very flu fluid, very smooth. Um, the Play Store is also themed, which is kind of cool. So it looks more more refined, and uh, I, I don't get a good Wi-Fi signal up here, so I can't can't really show you unless it loads. Oh, there we go. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit themed. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, um, email is pretty much the same thing. Um, so va basically, also if I drag down the notifications, uh, hold on a sec. Um, it will show me notifications like that. This is heavily themed. There's quick toggles right here. You can change your airplane, Bluetooth, sync, uh, screenshot right from there without having to press the volume buttons. Uh, the Wi-Fi and more will take you into the um, quick settings menu where you can change these up and you can. There's like a security one, torch, screen button. This this ROM is packed full of features and the the best thing about this ROM for me is the smoothness of it. It's very smooth, very fluid. Um, runs just like an iPhone would um, in terms of how smooth and how nice it looks and all that. Um, so if you go in the settings, there's your apps. About phone, just shows you uh, what kernel version. This this is based off of um, CyanogenMod Mod 10. Uh, it's a 4.1.2 based off of it. Um, 
as you can see right there. My white version, hold on a sec, my white version 2.11.9.0, yeah, that's the latest one. Um, there's, the, there's that toolbox, which shows you all the mods. Um, and the rest of these settings are fairly standard, and you won't see them. They're not, there aren't very many settings that are very different. There's a status bar one where you can change some of the stuff in the status bar. The page or the callback style of the um, of the toggles. So that's kind of cool. And you see like a little preview window right there. Um, you can show the network speed, which is which is very cool, I think. I'm going to turn that on, actually. And it'll just show it up on there. I don't know if that's the most useful thing, because you can't really see it. But that's because I have the center clock mod, so... If you take that off, then you can see it. And so, um, yeah, I think for the speed improvements and all that, this is a very worthy ROM. So, uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And check us out on Twitter at Technolocker. And if you have any questions, contact us at technolocker at gmail.com. And uh, we are out. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.